Brak the Yahawa, Brak the Yawasai, Brak the Yahawa, Brak the Yawasai, Brak the Yahawa, Brak the Yawasai, Hasar Kakudas. I want to give double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone and Well. Peace and blessings, health and wellness to the house of David D. Lay. All right, today I want to go into a topic entitled, you know, Our Culture is Our Civilization. Something along those lines. I remember uh, once before, Elder Apostle Kabar said, you know, you don't need all these degrees and, you know, this, this doctrine and this. All you need is the word of the Heavenly Father. And now, you know, a little time has gone by and there's truth in you. You know, more has been revealed unto you. And then you really see it. Like, the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments, that's our civilization. You know, that's... That's our civilization. You know, you're not civilized unless you have the law, statutes, and commandments. All right? That's why the Most High, he always had a ruling class mentality towards the other nations. Because he refers to them as heathens. He refers to them as beasts, dogs. For one, you know, they weren't of their chosen lineage. But secondly, they didn't have the laws. So what is it that makes you civilized? Laws. Specifically, the laws of Yahweh Baha Shemi Shai. So a lot of people are under, are under the impression is that we're in a so-called first world country. There's a lot of access. The, 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 the common people have been granted liberties and access, all right? As it says in 2nd Ezra, such in their life have received liberty, you know, and basically they reproach uh, the Most High. All right, they receive liberty in America, all right? But not because you have liberty, you have access, you live in an advanced or privileged country, all right, that does not mean you're civilized. Because you're in a, a first world country, but you're living very basic and, and heathenistic. Because you've been, give, you've been given the liberty, all right, deceitfully, to go off your lower nature, also known as the flesh. All right, this Roman sensualized country has given you the liberty to live beastly, all right? So you're not civilized, and excuse me that my voice is raspy, I don't think I brought water with me while I'm driving. No, I didn't bring any water with me. But while you, <clears throat> while you, you know, chasing your degrees or your American dream, the, a lot of Israelites, the majority of them, they're living like heathens, all right? Because you live just to please your flesh. Whether it's food, uh, uh, S-E-X, I don't even know if I can say that, but whether it's food, any type of pleasures that's why it, it condemns babylon in, in the book of jeremiah and it says thou that are given to pleasures so somebody that's given to pleasures or they're a slave to their pleasures that that person is not civilized all right a society full of de se uh, sexual debauchery all right society full of gluttony gluttony a society full of drunkards a society full of so a society full of uh, covetous, all right? That's just, that's, your flesh has been on, on, on hyper, on hyper uh, sensual mode 24 seven. Cause you sit in front of a TV or your, your, your phone and you get <clears throat> everything to please the flesh advertised to you. So you're just overstimulated, all right? So, but we don't need all those things, all right? A lot of people don't respect you unless you have some type of doctrine or some type of degree, all right? But as it says in 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, around 26, 27 verse, the most I chose the base things of this world to condemn things that are wise. All right? See? But within our laws is a civilization. That's why the movie, um, the book of Eli, that, that devil was looking for what? The Bible. Because he knew that he could basically control everybody. But another way you can so-called control everybody is you civilize them, all right? Because we have different uh, departments, all right, within our laws. We have a, uh, a department of justice, which is our judicial system. We have a department of civil law, all right, which is, our, of course, our civil laws. We have a department of moral laws, which is something that you don't see in America, in certain parts of the Middle East. I want to say I ran, I could be wrong. There's something called moral police. <clears throat> moral police. So if a woman is dressing scantily, or she doesn't have her hand covered, she get pulled over by the moral police, man. All right? So we had a moral standard. All right? 
we had a judicial standard, a civil standard, a dietary standard. But if you if you team all those standards up, all those statues up, you have a civilized people. When those laws are, are adhered to, when those statutes and commandments are adhered to, you have laws that keep you from committing idolatry, laws that prohibit you from uh, committing incest, laws that prohibit you from sleeping with animals, all right, laws that prohibit you from dressing like a woman or a woman dressing like a man, all right, laws that pr uh, prohibit most sexuality. But when you, when you unify all those laws, you have a civilization civilized people all right laws that tell you how to uh, lease out your land and <clears throat> your systems of equity to where all the Israelites can rent out the land built around uh, uh, the year of Jubilee all right you have laws that basically uh, uh, protect your assets your daughter is your asset if somebody sleeps with her well he has to pay for it you know there's a pay uh, uh, so many shekels of silver, 50 shekels of silver, but that's protecting your assets. You see? You have laws that if you murder, if you kill somebody by mistake, like it was an accident, there's laws that give you a city, a sanctuary, all right? Until every, basically everything dies down, his family dies or whatever, all right? I have to go back into it. But that's what you have in America, <clears throat> where Issachar will come to America, is that by word is immigrants or aliens, but you have cities of sanctuary. They got that from the Bible. They got that from, the, from our civilization. All right? And women don't like to admit it because they're under the, the, the spell of feminism, but you, you're not civilized until you're modest. You know? Modesty in a woman is, is, a, is her being civilized. Self-control is her being civilized. All right? With this online casual dating, all right, the sexual debauchery, you're on the frequency of an animal, all right? So you're not civilized. Them little degrees ain't shit. The first form of civilization, controlling your own nature, all right? But you're not even, you know, and, and, and the foundation of a civilization is a family, all right? So women overthrow or, or neglect having a family, chase some damn doctrine, man. Now, granted, we're in Egypt, and a woman got to get her money, too. Take two to tango financially in most cases. But now, for a lot of women, that's their husband. That's their idol. All right? But furthermore, all right, you're not civilized until you come back to your nationality. We're better than all these nations. All right? But nigga culture, black culture, Hispanic culture, it's an inferior culture, and it makes it seem like that we're less civilized than the heathens that are around about us. And it's not that they're superior, but we just, the nigger culture is an inferior culture, culture, and it's not our culture. Our culture is that of Israel, the, uh, the laws that is in commandments, and everything that encompasses, that's our culture, man. Well, with that, I hope you brothers and sisters were edified, man. You know, hey, all you need is the law, man. All you need is the word, man. All right, which is something you would never hear in Christianity about the laws. Now, let me let me say this too, Salat. All you need is your house side. All right, but your house side, uh, you do your house side. You keep the laws, man. All right, but those laws aren't just some theoretical thing you just read about. That's how those are the pillars that uphold your nation. But with that, I hope you brothers and sisters will edify. Till the next time, Shalom.